Chris. How was school? It was great. I met a girl, Mom. That's wonderful, honey. Yeah, her name is Lindsay, like the state. Is she nice? Yeah, she's really nice and super pretty, and her bicycle seat smells like strawberries. Oh, okay. I'm going to go upstairs and alternate between hopeful excitement and suicidal pessimism. Hey, Mom, I want you to meet my new girlfriend. New girlfriend? Yeah. You remember that girl Lindsay I told you about? Well, I asked her out, and now we are dating. Lindsay, this is my mom, my little brother Stewie, and my dog Brian. Hey. Oh, my God. My goodness, look at you. Do you even realize who you look like? Cameron Diaz, that's who. You are gorgeous. Well, she's awful pretty. I know that, Mom. Very pretty. Stunning. Are you kidding me? Are they not seeing this? I know, it's kind of creepy. It's almost like he's dating Lois. Yeah, looks like somebody's getting a little Oedipussy. Can we say that? Just did. Oh, hi, you two. You know, Lindsay, I just want to say how nice it is to have such a beautiful young woman in our home. Oh, a baby. I almost had one of you twice. <laughs> Who didn't, right? So, what are you two up to tonight? Well, we really haven't decided yet. Eh, I'll think of something while I'm taking a chick dump in your parents' bathroom. And I will hold your purse. Good for Chris, huh? He picked a peach, didn't he? Lois, don't you think maybe part of the reason you like Lindsay could be because she looks so much like you? What? What are you talking about? Come on, she's clearly an awful person. And, and I think it's possible that your vanity has made you a little blind to that. Oh, I see what's going on here. You're jealous. Chris has a wonderful young woman in his life, and you've got nothing. She's kind of right, Brian. All you've got is a worn-out rope toy and that squirrel who comes by once a day to taunt you. Hey! Hey, get out of here! This is our yard! You don't belong there! Don't you touch anything! I told you all this yesterday! So, Kevin made another attempt on his life last night. He drank two bottles of dish soap. Well, we have some news, too. Chris is dating the most wonderful girl. You know, everyone said don't smoke during your pregnancy, but I think some of it rubbed off on him, because now he's cool. That's nice. Well, I should go, Lois. Yeah, I should probably get going myself. Oh, my God. What? What is it, Lois? That girl over there. That... That's Chris's girlfriend. Hey, you know, she kind of looks like you, Lois. Maybe she'll thank me for buying the coffee. You think she looks like me, too? Oh, my God. I'm starting to think Brian was right. Maybe I have been blinded by my own stupid vanity. That girl is nothing but trouble. Are you going to tell Chris? I guess I'll have to, but he doesn't take bad news very well. Oh, Chris, honey, I'm so sorry to tell you this, but your grandfather died. <laughs> Chris, honey, there's something I want to talk to you about. What's your mom? Come on in. Chris, you know your girlfriend, Lindsay? Yeah. Well, honey, I saw her making out with another boy. Was she kissing with her mouth or her pants mouth? Because she does both. Chris, I can't believe you knew about this. That's terrible. Why would you even date a girl like that? Well, because I, I thought she'd be like you. Like me? Well, you gotta admit, Mom, she does look a lot like you. I mean, I just look at you and Dad, you know? He, he's a complete train wreck, and you put up with him. And I'm no prize myself. So I guess I figured if I don't find a girl just like you, I might never find anyone. Oh, Chris, of course you'll find someone, and you are a prize. You're a handsome, kind-hearted young man, and any girl would be lucky to have you in her life. You really think so? Of course I do, sweetheart. Well, thanks, Mom. Now I'm going to take the child filter off the computer, and I want you to have a fun night. But I'm sorry I missed meeting your girlfriend, Chris. That's okay, Dad. Yeah, Chris, I never asked you. What did Lindsay say when you broke up with her? Oh, she didn't seem to mind. I think she already moved on to someone else. Thanks for buying me these clothes, Glenn. You're welcome. And you're dismissed. Do I still get to keep the 20? <laughs>